Knowledge Quest survives off of being relevant in the life of children. It's that same principle of allowing them to tap into something where they find passion that's bigger than themselves. We're partnering and we're servants to the school. We're partnering and we are, you know, supports and service to the parents. It's just a part of an educational system. Your mindset needs to be, I want to draw everything from them I can. Because you're going to come here every morning, you already know what you know. You don't grow if you walk away only knowing what you know. This is about strategic thought. This is about high school students becoming some of the smartest people in the room because they know how to solve problems. And if you know how to solve problems, you will always eat. You will always make money. Every single group will pick one property. This is the property that you guys are gonna stick with and this is a property that you guys are gonna create your opportunity spaces. Me and my group picked a church and we thought that it would be like a good place to put like multi stuff in it and that's exactly what we did. We picked a homeless shelter, a food, a grocery store, um, a daycare, and a thrift shop. Yeah, he got an old for home show. This is the old for home part. All of it was for home. This is not even a picture for for homes. How do you all feel about them um, redoing for homes? I used to live in Fun Homes, and then I went to PTW. Well, first I went to Vance, Vance in Georgia. They, uh, Georgia was, uh, they tooted it down because there weren't a lot of kids coming. They took Vance down because there weren't a lot of kids coming. And then they all stuck us into one big old building in BTW. Like, it's way crowded there. Yeah. They took away my friends, my teachers, my learning environment where I used to live. As our generation, we had to watch our friends like being separate from each other. Like everybody scattered. Like it wasn't just people just moved to South Memphis. Like some to Whitehaven, some went to East Memphis. Like everybody just scattered. Do you feel as if what they're doing with Foothounds now is a good sacrifice that you all are going through? Yes, because, like I said, good memories and bad memories. And I think one of the bad memories was like my friends started to like die all because wrong place at the wrong time. And I think that people, when they think of 38126, and think of the people here in the, in the community, they think of, always oh, like all bad. Oh, they're not gonna be nothing. Even if it's like in our schools, like they would say stuff like that. And I feel like it's just nice to prove people wrong. I've grown accustomed to seeing like the vacant lots, and, like the blighted neighborhoods and abandoned houses. And I, I'm used to seeing everything there right down. And so me as a teenager, I feel like that we should be the ones being listened to so we can change it.